Hello friends, I hope you're well, staying safe and taking care of both your physical and mental health. Um, stay tuned to the end of the video if you would like to know how to get some free printable coloring pages for yourselves or loved ones. And there's also a couple of drawing exercises in there, so stick around till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe. Today's video is a time lapse of a little 5x7 oil painting I just did. I painted the fictional land of Mordor from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I've always really loved fantasy and um, magical places, so although it's dark, this seemed like a fun thing to do. And times are pretty crazy right now, right? And art has always been my thing. That's what I always have turned to to deal with the craziness of everything. And right now it's <laughs> kind of elevated, so... Um, yeah, I decided to do some landscapes recently and you may have seen them. I have posted them on Facebook or Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you can easily search me on either under Ashton Kaylee. I've been trying to get back into oil paint. Um, when I first started oil painting, excuse me, when I first started painting in general, I was mostly doing um, oil and acrylic. I first started oil back in college way way back and that was my favorite I fell in love with it it was just the best medium in my opinion and it was my primary medium for a few years and then uh, after a while I had com completely completely abandoned it surprisingly and opted to work in just acrylic and digital and watercolor for some reason I don't know I guess lack of actual research on my own, I had convinced myself that it was too toxic for me and the environment and I have been trying to be very ecologically aware of my impact for quite a while now and my own personal health. So I just pretty much gave up oil. I thought it was a hassle anyways to have to get rid of the solvents in a proper way and I had started doing all the other paint mediums and it just seemed easier and they dry faster so anyways now I know that that's absolutely not true good studio practices and companies like Gamlin make working with oil a lot safer than you may have ever thought it to be and it's a pleasure to work with and no sadly I'm not sponsored by Gamblin I would love to be but I am not but I do love their products and the dedication that they have to treat both the earth and people well. So obviously I've come around and I have been trying to get back into oil painting. My my love for it has been rekindled. Uh, but I feel like I'm having to relearn a lot about oil paint in many ways. Or at least learning the new ways for me to work with it. Um, how to best fit it into my personal practice. My goal for this mortar painting was to work a la prima, which is to work wet into wet without letting any of your previous layers dry first. When I used to work in oils, I used a lot of glazes and like a lot of glazes. I, I, most of my paintings were based on mm, a ton of glazes and having to wait a day between layers. And I just had a bunch of paintings that I was working on simultaneously and would just rotate through them because each one I was taking a long time. and. A lot of layers on. So this whole a la prima um, process is quite unfamiliar to me. It is kind of how I would work in other paint mediums such as acrylic where I'm doing some of those acrylic paintings in one sitting sometimes depending on the size but acrylic dries very fast so it's still not really the same thing. And landscapes aren't really my thing either. My typical art is kind of weird full of symbols and often figures maybe some animals but Man, I've been really enjoying doing these lands landscapes. Uh, I've always loved Bob Ross. I've watched him just as like a relaxing thing, not, not ever following along with him. I've always wanted to. And the landscape that I recently did, I painted My Happy Place. That was loosely based off of a Bob Ross um, episode. You probably won't recognize it because I didn't copy it exactly, but it was kind of based on one of those. And that was done a la prima, so that was a nice, interesting 
exercise. Now I've been wanting to get back into oils and I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I've done a little bit here and there, but I haven't done a lot. I feel like maybe I've opted to work in the different mediums because at this point I'm more comfortable in them, especially acrylic. I teach painting classes and the social sip and paint classes. Not right now due to everything and I'm very sad I don't have that income right now. It's hard to be a freelance artist without some kind of side gig and mine is gone and yeah. Anyways, it's hard because I really do love all the types of paint as well and I also teach private lessons and the private lessons are people usually want to learn watercolor or acrylic and I think that's because the learning curves are much lower than oil. It's a little less intimidating and they're really easy to get started in. It doesn't cost a lot to get set up in each one. Um, in oils, you do have to, to learn something before you really do it. So for whatever reason, I, I've kind of avoided it or done it very little lately. But I'm trying to change that, especially now that I have more painting time. And oils, they just, there's something very special about them, the beauty and luminance that they have. It's just something you can't really get with the other paints. And they have stood the test of time, I think, for that very reason. So now my biggest problem is to try to figure out how to store a bunch of wet paintings while they're drying. And the stretch canvases are easy enough to hang, um, hopefully without getting paint all over the walls. But I don't know what I'm going to do with the panels because for these practice runs, I'm trying to use more of these um, canvas panels since they are super cheap and a lot easier to store um, and frameable if I should sell them or if I actually like how they turn out. So as much as I'm dreading it, I'm going to have to finally organize and clean my garage. It's going to be a big task and I'm really, really not looking forward to that. Uh, even though I'm on stay at home orders right now, I just, I don't want to do it. I've been using some mediums in my oil paints as well to help with the drying time dilemma. So that's good. My two previous landscapes are um, pretty much all dry and ready for adoption. So if you'd like to help this non-essential worker, please consider purchasing some awesome stuff off of my website. On my website, ashtonkaylee.com, all original art and prints right now are 20% off with the code this too shall pass and hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> Shipping is always free on all the orders and I'm sorry that the discount does not apply to merch like t-shirts and totes and stickers. Those do cost a bit more to produce and I, since I don't charge for shipping I don't really have a lot of wiggle room there. The t-shirts I don't even fulfill those orders myself so that discount is only applying to original art and prints some of which are already on sale price so your discount is on top of that just don't forget to put that code in at checkout because i won't be going back on orders that have already been fulfilled to apply a discount all the supplies that i used are listed in the description with affiliate links as well where possible it's a difficult time for everyone for all of humanity and i really really appreciate any and all support that you give Please like, subscribe, and share with anyone you know that is interested in learning art um, or just watching the process. I know a lot of people just enjoy watching people do art as well. I am certainly one of them. I also have some free coloring pages and drawing exercise that are available as my gift to you. Feel free to print them out and if you do them, I hope to see them. Please go ahead and tag me when you post those on any social media. If you want to download those, please check out my Instagram at Ashton underscore Kaylee. The links are in my link tree, which is in my bio. So from there, you can download as many as you need to share with your friends and family. So I hope you enjoy those and tag me in your creations. I'll see you around, friends. Stay safe. Stay strong. Much love to you all.